I give the floor to the distinguished representative of International Service for Human Rights. Mr. President, ISHR welcomes the latest communications report, which provides a troubling picture of threats and attacks against human rights defenders. Mr. President, we look to you to ensure full cooperation with the Council's mechanisms. Among more than 52 states listed in the report as having not yet responded to at least one initial communication, 19 are Council members. We urge you to request updates on the status of these communications from Bangladesh, Burundi, DRC, Ecuador, Ethiopia, France, India, Indonesia, Kenya, Kyrgyzstan, Macedonia, Mexico, Morocco, Nigeria, Philippines, Russia, South Africa, Venezuela and Vietnam. As the case of Koppen demonstrates in Honduras, states may respond to communications, but without taking concrete action, human rights defenders will continue to be victims. This session also considers the report on the Council's 10th anniversary panel. Without further individual and collective leadership, states will squander the opportunity of making the Council more accessible, effective and protective. We welcomed the participation earlier this week of the majority of states seeking election to the Council in Geneva's first event to discuss the visions of potential new Council members, bringing much needed transparency to the election process. We regret that a minor minority chose not to face questions, thus depriving GA members of the opportunity to cast a more informed vote. We nevertheless call on all members of the GA to only vote for states which uphold the highest human rights standards at home and cooperate with the Council. Several of this year's candidates clearly fall short even of those basic requirements. We also look to members of the Council to formally pledge to bring the situation to the Council's attention based on objective criteria and if flagged by a range of expert voices external to the Council. We welcome and encourage the swift operationalisation of the end of session statement delivered by Ireland in June. Thank you. Thank you very much.